Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having yakisoba. So I am using this package of yakisoba. I buy it at Winco. You can also find it at Asian grocery stores or you know anywhere. Um, in this package of yakisoba, you get three packages of noodles and then three uh, little seasoning packets. So I use all of them at the same time. I'm gonna rinse these noodles to make, the, they're kind of stuck together to unstick them. You're just gonna rinse them under some hot water. Of course, that's Harrison in the background. I'm gonna add this coleslaw to it. I'm going to add some green onions and chicken. This is fully cooked grilled chicken. And I get this from Aldi, Kirkland brand, and I'm using about a third of this package of chicken. All right, so let's get started. Okay, I've got my chicken and green onions going in some olive oil. And I'm just putting my pasta in there. And I'm gonna let that pasta kind of char a little bit, get a little bit brown. And then I'll add in the cabbage and those seasoning packets. Okay, here is everything all plated up, a quick and easy meal. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having some grilled chicken. When I was growing up, my mom used to make, make this chicken and it's boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I have some um, wishbone Italian dressing. It's been marinating all day long. And I used probably about a third of this bottle. That's what I had left, about a third of the bottle. And um, I'm also gonna make some broccolini. I've already cleaned it up, chopped it up. I like to cook the leaves and all when I make broccolini, it's so good. And I've decided that I'm gonna use this um, seasoning blend that I got from Trader Joe's a long time ago and I've never used it and I need to use my seasonings. Here is what is in there. And then in my pantry, I have, or had this um, box of Cracker Barrel sharp white um, macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna add probably like a, a heaping spoonful of sour cream to it and then some additional shredded cheese and then I'm gonna bake it. And that's just how I doctor up my macaroni and cheese. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. Here is the macaroni and cheese and the broccolini and the grilled chicken. Yummy, yummy. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe. It is shredded barbecue chicken and you make it in the crock pot. You start off by browning some chicken thighs on top of the stove and this is about two pounds of chicken thighs and about a tablespoon of grapeseed oil. So now it's time to mix up the barbecue sauce. I have one cup of ketchup in here, and now I'm adding a quarter cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. The recipe actually calls for apple cider vinegar, and I don't have any. I thought that I did, so I looked online and they said that a substitute would be any type of vinegar, rice vinegar, red wine vinegar, etc. One tablespoon of yellow mustard, half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and one teaspoon of red pepper. I'm not going to add a full teaspoon, I'm just gonna add well, like three quarters of a teaspoon. And you're just gonna stir it all up. So I poured the sauce over my chicken thighs. I'm gonna cover the crock pot, let this cook on high for an hour, reduce the temperature to low, cook it for about five to six hours, and then I'll shred it with a fork. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. Let me show you the chicken in the crock pot. Here it is. I let it cook for about five hours and then I shredded it. It is very good. So serving it on a toasted buttered bun. 
right here and then some corn on the cob with some butter on it and then um, right here i have a three bean spicy baked beans and i did record a video on how i made um, these beans and that video will be out soon so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see you next time so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner. Didn't feel like cooking. So we are having this marbled cinnamon bread that I picked up on a recent Aldi haul. I keep it in the refrigerator to keep it fresh, but it is very, very good. It does not have raisins. I don't care for raisins at all. And it's hard to find a bread without raisins in it. Um, it's pretty hearty. It kind of reminds me of eating a cinnamon roll. It's very good. I serve mine with butter and then I toast it in the air fryer. We're also having some cheesy scrambled eggs and turkey pastrami. I had this in my um, freezer for a while and I picked it up from Winco, which is a grocery store here. And this is dark meat turkey pastrami. So I just fried it in the pan and then I just fried my eggs afterwards or scrambled my eggs afterwards. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having cheeseburgers and I actually deep fried these french fries. So this is Howard's plate. He's got some cheese on there, avocado and Chick-fil-A sauce. And this is my plate. I just have a little bit of ketchup, mustard and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.